We're going to turn now to another story that's been in the headlines for three days here in the United States. It's the Jeffrey Epstein case. It seems like every day around this time, we have another huge batch of documents with more famous names coming to light as part of this massive document dump we've been covering all week. Today, a female member of the British royal family is named as an Epstein associate, though she is not referenced to have anything to do with his crimes. News Nation's Laura Ingalls has been working a lot and sleeping very little since Wednesday <laughs> as she and our team comb through hundreds and hundreds. Is it thousands now? It's thousands. Thousands now. of pages of documents. Okay. The British royal is Sarah Ferguson. That's right. What, what, how is she mentioned in these documents? So she's mentioned as more of a visitor, and we've seen a couple of those types of mentions through these documents. So we got a drop of a couple hundred today, then the second drop was over 600, so over 1,000 pages in all. It is a lot. Some of these documents do have repeated information from the last few days, but we are seeing new scenarios being told by the people who lived through the Epstein years within their circle. And again, we've heard some of these new names, too, some simply as being a visitor on Jeffrey Epstein's plane or at one of his homes, according to his house manager. That guy's name is Juan Alisi, and he gave a videotape deposition in 26 teams. And we heard names today like RFK Jr., Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, several beauty queens, along with a Nobel Prize winner. Uh, again, just visitors. We also saw emails and testimony transcripts this is new, about the idea of somebody possibly carrying a baby for Epstein or Maxwell, something that Maxwell pushed back on in her deposition. An investigator asks Maxwell, did you or Jeffrey Epstein ask a female, and they're specifically talking about Virginia Dufre, to become pregnant and carry his baby for either you or him? And she said she couldn't tell them anything that Jeffrey did or didn't do when she was not present. So an answer, not answer, and told investigators she had never asked anyone to carry a baby for her. Um, and then there's, of course, information now about a price tag for each girl that was brought in. And this is what's, so we've heard this before, Elizabeth, mm. that some of the girls were asked to go recruit their friends. And if you do, you will get $200 if you bring us a Well, that's girl. how David Copperfield winds up in these, in all these, right. this document dump. Because he actually, he was there just for dinner, mm -hmm. but apparently asked one of the young women, are you aware? that you you know there are girls who are being paid to go recruit other young girls right and we're also learning today that so some of the things that are new is Virginia Dufresne's boyfriend at the time was also asked to go get girls and he also reports to investigators that Epstein gave him $200 a girl and says he was paid right on the spot whenever he did saying quote I'd walk in the door I'd talk to Jeffrey then he hands me my money and I would walk back into the kitchen say goodbye and leave and one of the biggest questions I have is just you know why didn't he, did he check on anybody did anybody go back and say you know look we'll give you $200 but things are going to get weird <laughs> possibly yeah, yeah. you know that, that's pretty, uh, pretty crazy sure he was so happy to get the money, he might have just left. It's interesting. We did see RFK Jr. Uh, get, try and get out in front of this. Remember a few weeks ago, that's right. he was all of a sudden volunteering. I was on Epstein's plane a few times, and I remember thinking, why did, where is that coming from? He must have known that. Oh, we know. I yeah. don't know. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.